Hello everyone. So today we're going to demonstrate how to perform man in the middle attack using ARP poisoning. Uh, but before we jump into that, uh, I'd like to take a minute to explain how the attack works before we uh, implement the attack. So let's assume in a scenario where we have two computers A and B and it could be a server and a malicious actor that has access to the physical network on a switch for example. So what happens first is that the malicious actor will start sending unsolicited ARP advertisement saying hey I am uh, computer B this is my MAC address and at the same time it will poison the ARP cache of computer B saying hello I'm computer A this is my MAC address uh, once and, and this me these ARP unsolicited ARP messages keep flowing from computer M to both of, of these computers to uh, ensure that the uh, actual computer does not send anything directly without passing through uh, the malicious uh, side. Uh, once the ARP tables are poisoned, when A wants to send anything to uh, B, it would automatically send it to M based on the MAC address of M, and M will get a copy of it. They'll be able to extract information if the traffic's not encrypted, or they'll be able or even to edit the information, and then send it over to B, and when B responds to this message, the response is going directly to M and then being passed to A so that A doesn't feel that there is a problem. Okay, so to demonstrate this attack, what uh, we'll be doing is that we're going to use three virtual machines. Three virtual machines that I have here is a Kali machine to perform the attack, a Parrot machine acting as the client and a web server uh, so the Kali machine will be the man in the middle between the Parrot machine and uh, DC6, the web server. Okay, so uh, we'll start first by getting to know the IP address of the client machine. You can see um, this is the IP address, 132, that makes it our first target. Uh, Let's assume that we don't have access to the web server. We'll just do simple scanning from the Kali machine. Uh, my Kali setup has two interfaces. So when I do the scan, I'm going to, and just to clarify, um, one side is connected to the internet and the other side is connected to uh, the internal network. So uh, this is the one that's connected to the internal network, you can see 132 uh, was the parrot machine and 136 is my machine so I'll do a simple nmap with the ethernet1 interface simple network scan 192.168.149.1.1 over 24 Just give it a second to do the uh, scan. Now we have the results. We have 132, which is the parrot machine, and 136 is our own uh, local machine, and 135 is apparently the server. So the server is configured with a particular um, particular um, website uh, name or domain name. Uh, and it's the DC6 machine that's available on Von Hub if you're interested in looking at it. And the website name is Wordy. It's a WordPress website. We're using it just as an example here. So you can see we can visit the website if we ping Wordy. We'll get the response from 135, which is great. So now we move on to the Kali machine. So the first thing to do before we start the tool, we're going to use EtherCap. Before we start using the tool, we're going to enable forwarding information. Why? Because we want to make sure that we do not just capture all the traffic and hold it into the Kali machine. We want to pass it on to the target machine. So we're going to echo one into slash process slash sys slash net slash IPv4 IPv4 
Oh, we should be like, okay then. Let's sudo su then. And equal, okay, that's already there. Now with that enabled, I'm gonna exit from the root and go ahead and start EtherCap. So this is the tool, EtherCap Graphical. It requires admin access, of course. So in my setup, I'm using ETH1 as the interface that I'll be using for the uh, um, attack because ETH0 is connected to the internet. So I'll just make sure that I select the right one and then enable sniffing at startup and go ahead. It started sniffing. Uh, what I can do first is search for available hosts. It's scanning the available hosts on that local network. Now we have a host list. If you click here, you will see the available host list. Our targets are basically 132 and 135. So what do we do? I'll select 132 first, right click and choose add to target one and select the second one and add to target two. Uh, I'll go over here and just to double check, show the current targets, target one and target two. So they are added to the target list. Now what we'll do is that we'll start the MITM attack with ARP poisoning. Sniff remote connections, yes. I'll click OK. Now sniffing started. So what I'll do, I'll go over to the first target machine. I will visit the W admin, WP admin uh, page which is the login page for this content management system and I will use a username and password to log into it. Remember that this is not encrypted traffic, HTTP, it's not HTTPS. So username mark and password is helpdesk01. Don't save. Now we're logging in. Now what what is actually happening to traffic is that all traffic going out of the parts machine is going to the Kali machine being captured and any useful information being extracted from it and then it's forwarded to the server and any response that comes back from the server will go through the same path through the Kali machine. While this is loading, what I'll do, I'll go over to the Kali machine and here you will see the information has been extracted. Username mark, password help desk 01 which means that the attack was successful. We cheated this target into thinking that we are the server and we cheated the server into thinking that we are the pilot machine and hence we got access to this information. If we go back to the target machine, you can see we successfully logged in. So the username and password were correct and the attack was uh, successful. And I believe that would be all. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe.